from Bitcoin and Ethereum to Dogecoin and Tether, there are thousands of different cryptocurrencies, which can make it overwhelming when you're first getting started in the world of crypto. To help you get your bearings, these are the top 10 cryptocurrencies based on their market capitalization or the total value of all coins currently in circulation. Number 1. Bitcoin. Market cap over 856 billion. Created in 2009 by someone under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoin is the original cryptocurrency. As most cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin runs on blockchain, a ledger logging transactions distributed across a network of thousands of computers. Because additions to the distributed ledgers must be verified by solving cryptographic puzzles, a process called proof of work, Bitcoin is kept secured and safe away from fraudsters. Bitcoin's price has skyrocketed as it's become a household name. Five years ago, you could buy Bitcoin for $500. As of August 2021, a single Bitcoin is over $45,000. That's growth of about 8,900%. Number two, Ethereum. Market cap over 357 billion. Both a cryptocurrency and a blockchain platform, Ethereum is a favorite of the program developers because of the potential of its applications. Like so-called smart contracts that automatically execute when conditions are met and non-fungible tokens, NFTs, Ethereum has also experienced tremendous growth in just five years. Its prices went from 11 to over 3,000, increasingly roughly more than 27,000%. Number three, Binance Coin. Market cap over 70 billion. The Binance coin is a form of cryptocurrency that you can use to trade and pay fees on Binance.com, one of the largest cryptocurrencies exchanges in the world. Since its launch in 2017, Binance coin has expanded past merely facilitating trades on Binance's exchange platform. Now it can be used for trading, payment processing, or even booking travel arrangements. It can also be traded or exchanged for other forms of cryptocurrency, such as Ethereum and Bitcoin. Its price in 2017 was just 10 cents. By August of 2021, it has risen over 419, a gain of almost 419,000%. Number four. Cardano, ADA, market cap over 69 billion. Somewhat later to the crypto game, Cardano is notable for its early embrace of proof of stake validation. This method expedites transaction time and decreases energy usage and environmental impact by removing the competitive problem solving aspect of transaction verification present in platforms like Bitcoin. Cardano also works like Ethereum to enable smart contracts and decentralized applications, which are powered by ADA and its native coin. Cardano's ADA token has a relatively modest growth compared to other major crypto coins. In 2017, ADA's price was just two cents. As of August 2021, the price is up to $2.11. That is an increase of over 10,000%. Number five, Tether. Market cap over 64 billion. Unlike some other forms of cryptocurrencies, Tether is a stable coin, meaning it's backed by fiat currencies like the US dollar and the euro, and hypothetically keeps a value equal to one of those denominations. In theory, this means Tether's value is supposed to be more consistent than other cryptocurrencies and favored by investors who are weary of the extreme validity of other coins. 
Number six, XRP. Market cap over 52 billion. Created by some of the same founders as Ripple, a digital technology and payment processing company, XRP can be used on that network to facilitate exchanges of different currency types, including fiat currencies and other major cryptocurrencies. At the beginning of 2017, the price of XRP was just 0.006 of a penny. And as of August 2021, the price has reached $1.14, equal to a rise almost of 19,000%. Number seven, Dogecoin, market cap over 40 billion. Dogecoin has been a hot topic thanks to celebrities and billionaires like Elon Musk. Famously started as a joke in 2013, Dogecoin has rapidly became a prominent cryptocurrency option thanks to dedicated communities and creative memes. Unlike many other cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, there is no limit to the number of Dogecoins that can be created, which leaves the currency susceptible to devaluation as supply increases. Dogecoin price in 2017 was at 0.0002. By August 2021, the price is at 31 cent, and that is a 154,900% increase. Number eight, USD coin. Market cap over 23 billion. Like Tether, USD coin is a stable coin meaning that it is backed by a U.S. dollar and aims for a 1 U.S. dollar to 1 U.S. D.C. dollar ratio. USDC is powered by Ethereum and you can use USD coin to complete global transactions. Number 9. Polkadot. DOT. Market cap over $25 billion. Cryptocurrencies may use any number of blockchains. Polkadot aims to integrate them by creating a cryptocurrency network that creates the various blockchains so that they can work together. This integration may change how cryptocurrencies are managed and has spurred impressive growth since Polkadot's launch in 2020. Between September 2020 and August 2021, its price grew from 774% from $2.93 to $25.61. Number 10. Solana. Market cap over $20 billion. Developed to help power decentralized finance, uses decentralized apps and smart contracts, Solana runs a unique hybrid proof of stake and proof of history mechanisms that help it process transactions quickly and securely. SOL, Solana's native token, powers the platform. Launched in 2020, SOL's price started at 77 cents. By August 2021, the price was $73.19, a gain of 9,405%. Thank you guys for watching. All of these market caps and prices are as current as August 2021. I will keep you updated with the newest current prices as the months go by. Thank you. Like, subscribe, comment, follow, do all that good stuff. What's going on everybody? This is Naj with Crypto World. Before we get into this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and turn that notification bell on. This right here is the top four cryptocurrencies you wanna watch uh, for this month, next month, and maybe even in the future. Um, so go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and comment, leave your opinion. Tell me what you think. Let's get into it. After a rough few months, August had crypto investors talking about a bull run again. 
the total market cap for the whole cryptocurrency market went back above two trillion dollars since the first time in may ethereum's london upgrade and speculation on cardano's smart contracts saw both coins post healthy gains so which coins should be on your watch list this month let's take a look number one cardano Cardano's price already increased over 100% in August, but September will still be a big month for the coin that wants to use blockchain to solve real world problems. On September 12th, Cardano finally launched its smart contract functionality. Smart contracts are tiny pieces of self-executing code that live on the blockchain. And on September 25th, Cardano actually hosted a virtual and live event in the Cardano Summit. Cardano may have a share of critics, and it might be too early to speculate on this September launch, but that means we won't see any big short-term gains, but in the long term, it is still one of the most solid and exciting undertakings in the crypto world. Its research-driven approach may be slow, but should result in a robust, sustainable platform. And it is already delivering several projects in Africa, the big challenge will be attracting developers once the smart contracts are up and running. Number two, OMG Network. In addition to having a great name, OMG is making strides in the digital payment space. It works directly with the banks and aims to create products that appeal to both existing bank customers and those who don't currently have access to banking services. OMG's strategic partner and core contributor, Enya, has just launched Boba Network, which is described as a next generation layer two solution. Boba promises to process thousands of transactions a second and at a fraction of the cost of the Ethereum network. Layer two solutions refer to various protocols that sit on the top of the existing blockchain and improves its scalability. For OMG, formerly OMIS Go, this means its payment processing speed could rival Visa. OMG aims to create a wallet that people could use to easily move any asset between different payment platforms. From traditional money to cryptocurrencies or even reward points. It isn't clear how the partnership with Enya will unfold but the deal combines Enya's privacy and security with OMG's payment solutions, making it a project to keep an eye on. Number three, Helium, HNT. Blockchain meets Wi-Fi and what the company calls the people's network. Helium can provide 5G connectivity around the world without the same costs associated with the traditional telecom infrastructure. It's a powerful concept and a great example of how blockchain technology and cryptocurrency can solve day-to-day -day problems. Helium's hotspots are a bit like Wi-Fi routers in your home, but much more powerful. Called LongFi, they can reach 200 times further than any ordinary router. Individuals can set up Helium hotspots in their homes or offices and earn HNT tokens as a reward for providing increased wireless coverage to their communities. There are already almost 150,000 hotspots around the world, including many in U.S. cities. For example, there are over 3,000 in Los Angeles alone. The company raised over $100 million in August, finding backing from prominent names in crypto investing like Anderson Horowitz, Almeda Research, and Ribbit Capital. Number four, VeChain, VET. VeChain already gained 40% in August as the supply chain platform continues to show that blockchain can be achieved. VeChain uses blockchain technology to improve business processes and track each stage in the supply chain. For example, it already works with Walmart to track food products at each stage of the production and distribution process. 
Last week, it announced a new platform that uses blockchain ledger to track carbon footprints. VeChain's tool is a transparent way for companies to monitor their carbon consumption across the whole supply chain. It says businesses could use the tool to provide their customers with full oversight of a carbon data and green claim. I'll be honest, guys, do your own research. These coins listed above are all available from several top currency exchanges. I've also been watching some other less widely available coins this month, like Audius. Is that is a decentralized music streaming service that's just partnered up with TikTok. Um, I'm in the music industry, so I've I've always said it's only a matter of time before all these uh, you know platforms start merging with the music companies and start doing their own little deals and stuff with the crypto. So just keep an eye out, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the information I provided with you. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next. Bitcoin protection. In this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to protect your Bitcoin wallet in every way possible. Bitcoin is a popular commodity lately. This cryptocurrency usually tops the experts and users recommendations list for digital investments. If you're thinking about using Bitcoin or already have started your adventure with cryptocurrency, you can take these steps to protect your currency. Here's how to secure your Bitcoin wallet. Number one, using a hardware wallet. There are several types of cryptocurrency wallets. Hard wallets are connected to the internet and you can access them at any time. However, having a constant internet connection comes with certain cyber risks. If you need extra protection, use a hardware wallet. Hardware wallets are cold, meaning they don't connect to the internet. But you can still receive funds whenever you want. Disabling it makes it harder for cyber criminals to hack or hack your Bitcoin. Treasure and Ledger offers various hardware wallets that store your currency on an external USB device. Number two. Keep your hidden key offline. At the point when you utilize an equipment wallet, it does not really store all of your money. All things being equal, it stores a private key. This private key compares to a public key that incorporates certain measures of Bitcoin, giving you the right equilibrium. You should keep this hidden key secure at all times. safer and disconnected it is unless you need to stress over it trust me number three encode your wallet encoding your wallet is a useful advance to take you can begin straightforward with two-factor verification and go from that point any type of encryption will help Two-factor verification assists with confirming your character in two ways so that cyber criminals make some harder memories penetrating your wallet. You can likewise incorporate encryption programming assuming you need additional security for your Bitcoin. Number four. Keeping your currency in multiple places. Try not to tie up your assets all in one place. The expression sounds valid for cryptocurrency on the off chance that you will have all your computerized cash in one wallet. You actually have a higher shot at losing more. In the event that you place all your assets in various wallets, however, you have a superior chance of ensuring your resources. When saving, particularly, you'll need to guard your Bitcoin any way you can. Number five, a 
establish smaller transactions. In case you're a major Bitcoin high roller, you should venture back. High esteemed exchanges can draw consideration from cyber criminals. On an off chance that they see that you have resources for spend, they might be bound to focus on your assets. Obviously, you ought to spend your digital currencies any way you'd like. Simply remember that you'll require more insurance. Number six. Utilize a secure internet connection. Obviously, your home web association is a logical protected choice since it's solid and detached. However, you should remember that public web associations can be hazardous. Public Wi-Fi isn't generally secure, and since many individuals use it, cyber criminals may make simpler memories getting to your wallet. When on open Wi-Fi, it is ideal to not have a functioning wallet. On the off chance that you do make an exchange, empathetically consider utilizing a trustworthy, logless, paid VPN administration. Number seven. Stay quiet about your finances. Be mindful with regards to who you share your Bitcoin status and private key with. You'll probably need to just remain quiet about those numbers unless you have an accomplice you're willing to impart to them. Something else, the less individuals who know, the better. Consider cryptocurrency a genuine ledger. Treat your crypto wallet just like your regular bank account. Individuals don't need to know your PIN number or your record status or your account or routing number. Number eight, use antivirus software. Infections are an advanced plague in their own specific manner. Cyber criminals use them to take data and funds from weak records. However, antivirus programming can help. Since cyber attacks are continuous and frequently come as infections and malware, you'll need assurance. With the most modern components, antivirus programming can do precisely that. Number nine, watch out for phishing. Like infections and malware, phishing is one more type of digital defrauding. Certain lawbreakers use messages and connections to trick clients in surrendering their private data and information about their wallets. Every now and then, phishing tricks can also act as viruses and malware. Keep an eye out for anything suspicious or anything that doesn't look like the norm, guys. Number 10 double checking your recipient as you do your exchanges ensure that you are sending your Bitcoin to the perfect individual con artists may attempt to slant exchanges or stunt you into giving your cash elsewhere you can get programming software to help assist with recognizing mistakes as well Make sure to vet your exchanges and accomplices completely before any cash changes hands. Sometimes it tends to be difficult to recoup your Bitcoin if you send it to the wrong person. And we don't want that happening. As cryptocurrencies grow in popularity, you can expect some changes to come about. Keep an eye out on the security trends and follow the best practices as they emerge, everyone. Staying ahead of the curve will always bring you the best results, especially when you want to protect your Bitcoin. Stay safe in that cyber world. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Stay tuned for the next video. Cyber world out.
What's going on guys, it's Nigel Crypto World and in this video we're going to talk about six different ways you can earn passive income with cryptocurrency. Let's get right to it. The fast growing crypto ecosystem enables individuals across the globe to earn passive income. Take a look at these six different ways you can earn passive income with cryptocurrencies. Number one, depositing crypto into C5 lending platforms. Arguably the easiest way to earn passive income in Bitcoin and other digital assets is to deposit them into centralized lending platforms. While most experienced crypto users recommend avoiding deposit crypto with third party providers, the user friendliness of CFI lending platforms has led to billions of dollars in crypto streaming into CFI lending. Once funds are deposited, users can earn interest typically paid in deposited assets and passively. The popular CFI lendings right now include BlockFi and Nexo. Number two, depositing crypto into DeFi lending protocol. The more decentralized alternatives to the likes of BlockFi and Nexo are autonomous lending protocols, such as Compound and AAVE. DeFi lending apps allow crypto holders to deposit funds into smart contract powered lending pools to earn interest. The main difference from CFI and DeFi lending is that the latter gives users complete control over their funds and doesn't require any know your customer documentation or any onboarding processes. Yields are driven by supply and demand and vary from platform to platform. What's more, some DeFi lending apps are riskier than others. The high yields found in DeFi also come with very high risk. Number three, providing liquidity in liquidity pools and yield farming. In addition to lending, the DeFi markets also empower individuals to earn passive income by depositing crypto into decentralized trading pools called liquidity pools. As a reward for providing liquidity to the autonomous trading pool, depositors are rewarded with trading fees and liquidity provider token. To earn additional yield on deposited digital assets, users can then stake the LP tokens in so-called yield farms. Yield farming has become a popular way to earn passive crypto income. But like DeFi lending, it's one of the riskier ventures to take in the market. Popular liquidity pools include Uniswap, SushiSwap, and PancakeSwap. Number four, staking POS-based crypto assets. Alternatively, you could hold and stake proof-of-stake coins to earn passive income in a form of staking rewards. POS-based crypto networks require validators to lock up a stake in the network's native asset to secure the blockchain. The incentive to contribute a crypto network in this way is earning a share of the block reward in the form of newly minted coins. The staking process differs from network to network with some requiring advanced software setups and continuously running validator nodes while others simply require you to hold the asset in the official wallet. Number five, running a master node. If you'd like to set up your staking game to earn more crypto passive income, you could run a master node. Master nodes are also known as bonded validator systems and are a special type of node that performs specific functions within a crypto network. In the Dash network, for example, master nodes power the network's private send and instant send functions and provide governance voting rights to operators. To run a Dash master node, however, operators need to stake Dash 10,000 which is $1.6 million in US, making it a capital intensive affair to receive yield on your holdings. Fortunately, there are master nodes that require much lower capital investment 
while offering double digit yields. Pay it out to in the network's native token. Number six, running a lightning node. If you are a Bitcoiner and prefer to stick with Bitcoin to earn passive income, you could set up and run a lightning network or a lightning node. By supporting the fast growing lightning network through operating payment channels, you can earn a few sets every time someone transacts using your channel. While the earning may not be something to brag about on Bitcoin Twitter, running lightning nodes means you are contributing the most powerful open monetary network in the world that will potentially end up banking the unbanked. And on top of that, you can stack sets by contributing. Now, before you guys run off and explore every single method in this list, please, please, please remember that every topic that I discussed today on this video has a degree of risk. Do your own research and never invest more than you can afford to lose. Okay, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just presenting information and resources and tools that you guys can do when you guys are ready to set up your own Bitcoin adventure and start investing and making passive income. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, uh, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Crypto World out.
individual retirement accounts to employer-sponsored 401ks and 403b plans, the average American household has seen retirement accounts grow by 5%. Our 2021 retirement statistic guides aim to provide well-rounded views of trends from average savings to how many Americans have retirement accounts and retirement planning. First, here are 17 essential retirement statistics. Number one, the average U.S. household has $255,200 in their retirement accounts in 2019, a 5% increase from $243,500 in 2016. The median retirement account balance in the U.S. was worth $65,000 in 2019 a 2% increase in 2016. The average 401k balance in the third quarter of 2020 was $109,600, a 4% increase from $105,200 in the third quarter of 2019. 50% of American households had at least one type of retirement account in 2019, a 3% decrease from 2016. 58% of people ages 45 to 54, portions of Gen Xers, and 55% of people 55 to 64, portions of baby boomers, have retirement accounts. Number six, only 26% of Latino families have retirement accounts versus 35% of black families and 57% of white families. The average retirement age in the US is 66 years old, though 74% of Americans said they still plan to keep working even after retirement. Number eight, the average American feels they need to save at least $1.9 million for retirement. Number nine, 30% of Americans with retirement accounts reported withdrawing money from their accounts the first two months of the coronavirus pandemic. On average, those who withdrew funds took out $6,757. Number 10. 47% of American savers have either stopped or lowered their retirement savings contributions, citing the COVID-19 crisis. Number 11, 10% of Americans who lost their job or were furloughed due to the coronavirus pandemic are now expecting to retire earlier. Four in five Americans lack retirement planning basics on how to be finally secure. Number 13, about 35% of employers are automatically enrolling new employees into their sponsored 401k accounts unless a participant opts out. 71% of Americans, 70 plus, are worried about Social Security running out. Number 15. The average retired couple leaving the workforce in 2020 will need an estimated $295,000 post taxes to pay for health care expenses, not including long term care. Retirement age adults carry the most non mortgage debt in four Texas metro cities San Antonio, Houston, Austin, and Dallas. And last but not least, number 17. The most popular retirement destinations for adults 65 and older are Phoenix, Tampa, Florida, and Northport, Florida. There you have it, guys. 17 facts to know about retirement. Um, you know, the way the world is going these days, uh, people are planning to retire a lot faster. Some people don't have a plan, and some people do. So which one will you be? Make the right choices. Have a good day.
what's going on guys crypto world here with another video for you uh, today we are talking about how to get a job in crypto without further ado let's get right into it all right so the crypto industry is definitely booming here are some tips on how you can get started on your new career in it as demand to trade cryptocurrencies continue to rise so do the job openings in this sector if you want to turn your passion for cryptocurrency from a hobby to an occupation, there is no better time to make that leap than right now. As reports that pulled data from Indeed show at least a 118% increase in cryptocurrency related jobs posting since September of 2020. Despite the industry demand for new hires, entering the crypto market still isn't easy. You'll need to have a good idea of the type of job you want to land and the skill sets to match. Here are some tips to get started. Number one, blockchain development. Blockchain developers are the most in-demand people right now for the crypto industry. According to the 2021 Global Blockchain Employment Report, global demand for blockchain developers is expected to increase anywhere from 300 to 500% yearly. Blockchain developer jobs are also one of the highest paying roles in crypto. With an annual average salary of $123,750, to be competitive for this role, you'll need hard programming skills. The main language programmers use include C++, Solidity, Go, JavaScript, and Python. Although it's always worth checking with a recruiter which languages are preferred for the company that you are choosing. Entry-level job opportunities that are open right now include junior full-stack developer, graduate software developer, blockchain legal assistant, and a junior developer. Number two, journalism. When it comes to cryptocurrency journalism, there are two main qualities that editorial organizations are looking for in talent, strong writing ability and strong crypto knowledge. Although many journalists can lean on one another, having both is the best chance of landing the job in that competitive market. There are a number of crypto-focused university courses and certifications available to provide you with a solid understanding of the industry and has a wide range of free online training options. If you are passionate about cryptocurrency and passionate about journalism, but lack the experience of a competitive candidate, consider submitting freelance articles to publications to build up your portfolio. Most publications will gladly accept freelance work paid for on a per article basis. That serves a good way to build connections and relationships in this industry. If you do a quick search on crypto journalism or crypto journalist on LinkedIn's job board, it yields more than 3000 results. Entry level job opportunities that are available right now are content writer, research analyst, social media manager, and assistant editor. Number three, venture capital. For every hot crypto startup trying to change the world, there's a venture capital firm behind the scenes funding its operations. Working in cryptocurrency venture capital is a lot like its traditional finance counterpart. To work in this field, you'll need a solid understanding of economics, financial modeling, and be entrepreneurial savvy. Roles in this sector are some of the more competitive and highest paying jobs in the crypto industry. The entry level jobs that are available right now include investment analysis, research associate, venture capital intern, and junior portfolio analysis. Number four, mining. If you're interested in a more hands-on tech-focused career in cryptocurrency, look no further than working for a crypto mining company. There are plenty of jobs centered around maintaining the data centers and mining plants that require a variety of skills, such as understanding of electrical system and engineering ability. Think of jobs you would find at a power plant, but for mining cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Mining companies also frequently require content writers, marketing staff, and other administrative roles making them a great entry point for an aspiring crypto professional. 
Entry-level job opportunities available consist of data center technicians, electrician, mining process engineer, content creator, and junior marketing assistant. Few last things, guys. Make sure you're building relationships and networking. When it comes to working in cryptocurrency, who you know can be as important as the skills that you possess. This industry is all about networking, and whether you're a journalist trying to find the latest news story or a startup founder looking for investors, making a connection is key to advancing your career. While the crypto community is heavily on the internet, don't underestimate the value of attending in-person meetings and conventions. Conventions and conferences are a great place to get your feet wet and meet people who work in the industry that you're trying to tap into. And don't overlook the value of a smaller meetup hosted by a specific project or a specific company, usually in large metropolitan areas. Because crypto is still a relatively new industry, it's much easier to connect directly with senior executives than the traditional way. The best resources for finding crypto events is eventbrite.com and blocksocial.com. Immerse yourself in the industry. Another important step for anyone looking to join the industry is to immerse yourself in it. Let it take over your entire way of thinking. This can include things as learning a trade in digital assets, signing up and using different crypto based platforms, opening a crypto wallet, reading the daily news on crypto news every single day, following and carefully interacting with crypto on Twitter and other social media platforms and familiarizing yourself with crypto native terminology. If you do these things, you'll be sure to stand out and show every employer that you are serious and passionate about entering this industry. If you guys like the information that I provided for you today, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Crypto World out.